Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a playthrough of the Reaper Rewards Challenge. I was away for a couple of weeks and then I just saw this in my game when I loaded it up. Usually I don't really like doing Sims challenges but this one seemed quite intriguing so we're going to be doing that today. So we're going to be playing through week one. I know week two has already come out but I think we'll probably do this a weekly thing until we've completed the whole thing. Also, I guess being away has made me forget how to make videos because uh, I completed this challenge and didn't switch on my mic. So here I am going back and providing commentary over it. So hopefully I can remember everything I said. Looks like at this point I'm just going through the various stages of the overall challenge. So we have a call away and assistant to the Grim Reaper, which we'll be completing today. I've got my sim here, her name is Addison. I thought she'd be a pretty good fit because she's got that gothy aesthetic, you know, fits in pretty well with the theme of this challenge. Will we complete it today? Who knows? I know. We will. So one of the objectives was to purchase some starter seeds, so that's what we're doing right now. Got ourselves a laptop, gonna go and buy some seeds. Starter flowers, I think it was. Oh yeah, this is when I realised I still had base mental drugs installed. But anyway, back to business, starter flowers. I'm pretty sure that's what we needed, because if I think we needed a snapdragon and a lily. Oh, already we we unlocked a reward. Did I open it? Did I find out? Open the open the event UI, Carla. I want to find out what we unlocked. I can't remember. Oh, that's it. Gardening Volume One. So I was pretty excited about that. I thought maybe it would be a new book, but then I checked the library and realised actually it's the same book we already had. So didn't really unlock anything, but I guess it saved us a couple couple simoleons on paying for it for ourselves, I guess. I think this might be the point where I wanted to find out if it was the book we already had, so I went into Build and Buy and bought myself a bookcase. And I can look back now and say, that was a dumb decision, because I already know the answer. It is. I could save past Carla some disappointment. And there it is, Gardening Volume 1, Water, Light and Dirt. But I bought it anyway for some reason, I don't know why. I guess it's always good to have two copies. Just wanted to undo all of the progress I made by unlocking it for free, I guess. Okay, so we needed to plant a lily, plant a snapdragon, and ask three sims about ambrosia. Open the seed packet, and conveniently, we had a snapdragon and a lily in this packet. So we got some planters so that we could have as much growth as possible. I was pretty pleased with myself, I thought I was being really savvy by playing in autumn because usually whenever there's any challenge around gardening I always feel like autumn is a safe bet because so many plants grow in autumn but I was wrong. Snapdragon grows in, in autumn but the lily doesn't so I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to grow both when they both grow in different seasons but I guess this thing does go on for like, I think it's six weeks this challenge, so I suppose I'm just supposed to harvest all the snapdragons I can and then eventually get to lilies. We decided to tell the welcome wagon to fuck off, you know, we're busy, we got, we got our own objectives to complete, although I did regret that immediately because I could have spoken to them about ambrosia and now they're pissed off with me, shat on my own doorstep there. I, rot I rotated the camera a lot, oh this is because I was thinking about going for a drink. We were going to go to Elixirs and Brews because I fucked it with the welcome wagon. Oh, another reward. Click on it. Oh, I like this one, the Skull Bunny. That's really cool. And just on the cusp of getting the Grimophone, the original Freezer Boney. Yeah, we're going to go to Elixirs and Brews and uh, have a drink, socialise with some of the Sims and talk to some of them about Ambrosia. I'll put my little Freezer Boney up, trying to find the best spot where it could really shine. I decided the bedroom would be the best place to watch over us while we're sleeping. A little guardian skeleton bunny. Thinking about it, I'm kicking myself because um, we go to Elixirs and Brews to try and find out what our favorite drink is. I should have put a twist on this, this challenge here. We should have got drunk. I've got base mental drugs installed. We should have gotten drunk and then seen if we can complete this, these objectives <laughs> with a drunk sim. Ah, oh, absolutely kicking myself. That would have been a question I'd want the answer to. Can a sim complete the reaper's rewards whilst intoxicated? We like gardening so we can build up our gardening skill nice and quick. And we also need to research the plant, which only requires gardening level two. And we're literally on the cusp. Oh, I think that's when I realized that my um, lilies were out of season. I was devastated. 
bit hungry and we also I was tempted to maybe do a quick meal but then I realized that there was something about how this quest requires your cooking skill as well I guess because ambrosia requires cooking so no we're gonna make food we're gonna make some vegetable dumplings <laughs> we're already at gardening level two so we can complete the research a plant aspect what else do we need to do so we're gonna talk to three sims about ambrosia when we go to the bar and then research ambrosia on my laptop. I can't remember if I did that before I went to the bar or after. I guess we'll find out. I'm as clueless as Addison in this. You'd think I remember every move I made, but I do not. Just waiting. Waiting for the food to cook. God, this is exhilarating. They look good. Okay, grab yourself a serving. We'll put some in the fridge. Hopefully we're going to take a shit soon because I can see that bladder. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't like having my Sims needs go in the yellow. Social need is getting pretty low, but I probably wouldn't, past Carla wouldn't be sweating about that because we're going to go to the bar. Just enjoying some time on the John. This is actually when I realised, when I made this build, I know this is ridiculous, but this is when I realised you can put stuff on top of the toilet. It looks as and Bruce, here we go. Yeah, I just never tried it before, but you can. You can put clutter items on the the shelf bit of the toilet. Learn something new every day. Okay, first order of business. <laughs> order a drink. Let's find out our favourite drink. I always like to play this game with my sims and hopefully it's not something boring like sparkling water. I'm pretty sure that bartender stopped serving me halfway through. I was really pissed off about that but actually thinking about it she is the neighbour that I snubbed earlier so it does make sense I guess. It's my karma for thinking I'm too good for neighbourhood greetings. Okay, I think this is the first sim we wanted to talk to about Ambrosia, and she just straight away was feeling me. She just wanted a slice of my pie, but we're not playing that game. We need to know about the Ambrosia. If you want to make Ambrosia, you'll need to be willing to get your hands a bit dirty. Oh, we are. We are willing to get them dirty, Grace. We're willing to get them filthy. For you. Filthy girl. Yeah, I was going to ask those other two sims over there, but again, they dislike me because they're my neighbours, so I decided to ask a few other sims around, like this crazy character who's got butterflies around his face and appears to be glued to his phone. Like so many kids today. Ask about Ambrosia. I've heard that you need to have mastered the cooking and gourmet cooking skill. That sounded like a lot of effort to master the cooking and gourmet cooking. I suppose it makes sense because it's a six week challenge. I think it's six weeks anyway, but God, it's a lot of skills to gain. And then I think Knox was the third, yeah, third person we asked about Ambrosia. And then pretty soon we will have that objective ticked off. Ambrosia, I'm not sure how to make it, but I would love to learn and, and bring a ghost back to life. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, we unlocked more, some more rewards. What do we get this time? Oh, yes. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm surprised. This is like, <laughs> I've played through this already, but... Still exciting second time around that we unlock the Grimophone. And then next, I guess, is the cookbook. So we're powering through. We're doing pretty well. Assistant to the Grim Reaper. We just have to research a plant and research Ambrosia. And then the other one, I think, we just have to use the Grimophone and the seance table. Oh, and there's a letter that we need to wait for. Yeah, a call away. Wait for the Ambrosia Society letter, buy the Grimophone. Yes, yeah, so I haven't really done anything on that part, but I think you need to complete... I think the order is you do Assistant to the Grim Reaper first, and then you can move on to the next one. Oh, this is our favourite drink. Very nice. Not boring. I think we said something embarrassing. I don't know if we're too good with people, or ghosts, or socialising in general, so... That's fine, though. That would probably mean that we'll be a great candidate for Grim Reaper's bestie. I don't think he's too great with people either. Right, we've necked our drink. Let's go home. That was fun. That was productive. Okay, let's research these plants. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to prioritise the a call away. I think I'm going to go into build and buy mode at some point because there's a few things I need to buy. I don't have my seance table. I don't have my grimmer phone. And I think that's it. Oh, I need to expedite my letter as well. I want to wait around. There we go. Expedite mail delivery. And then we will queue up researching Ambrosia on the laptop. Okay, we have finished researching. We've learned about the Snapdragon. We'll expedite the delivery of our letter. I did initially think that would mean it would arrive immediately, but I don't think it does. I think we still had to wait until the next day for it to arrive in the mail. But right now we're going to research Ambrosia and then go to bed because we are tired, tired girl. God, it's been a long day. 
Oh, assistant to the Grim Reaper, great. You've scratched the surface about Ambrosia, but this is just the beginning. I need more details. Keep nurturing your garden. All right, well, let's go to bed. It's weird that we wear a mini skirt as pajamas. I mean, each to their own, but it's an odd choice. And we've earned another reward. We've earned a cookbook and also some earrings. Cooking volume one. Earrings of imminent demise. While wearing these earrings, you can always feel the cold hand of Grim Reaper tugging at your soul. Okay, getting on top of it straight away, queuing up. Shower and a shit and serving breakfast. Fruit salad this time, can't take any risks. I like this house, I don't want it to burn down. Gotta take care of the needs first. Happy sim, happy results. But I guess first things first, we'll hop into build and buy and get a few of the things that we needed. First of all, the grimophone. And then our seance table, perfect. I think that's all we need. Oh, level two of the cooking skill, there we go. So now we just need our letter, summon the Grim Reaper and ask the spirits about ambrosia, but not before our fruit salad. Breakfast comes first. What are we gonna do first, I wonder? I think, I think we're gonna summon the Grim Reaper. I think that's step one. While listening to Summer Strut, that's good use of the Grimophone. I'm sure Grim would be pleased to know that we're listening to Cruel Summer. Oh, there's the, okay, male person is here. Letter should be on its way. Yeah, I mean, our, our little activity has changed to read the Ambrosia Society letter, so we definitely have it now. I don't think you're taking this seriously. Okay, we have our Ambrosia Society letter. Welcome to our latest series, where we guide you through the process of cooking Ambrosia. If you have your Snapdragon planted, then the next step is to work on your cooking and gardening skills. The best way to do this is to feed your garden and yourself. Oh, okay, great. Very useful. So we have a new objective to cook a recipe while level three or higher. So we're gonna read our cookbook and we're gonna make the most of our lot rates. Give ourselves the homey lot rate so we get a little, a nice boost to our cooking skill. And now we are rapidly climbing. Look at that, powering through that cooking skill. Okay, cooking level three, done. So we're gonna make a meal that requires cooking level three. Faux meat casserole, beautiful. Oh, we've unlocked something else. What have we unlocked? Oh, a potion. I think that was an energized potion. How good is my memory? Yes, energized potion. This one seems interesting, a lot challenge. Okay, so now we are going to summon the Grim Reaper. Only two objectives left, unless any more pop up. Oh yeah, meet or socialize with the Grim Reaper. And there he is in the corner looking fine as fuck. Do a funny introduction. You want to be quirky, you want to be memorable, open up with a joke and then get in your goth gear as well. If we do a friendly introduction, he might think we're boring, so crack a joke or two. I'm sure he's got a great sense of humour. Ah, oh, see, he's got a crush. And only one objective left. Oh, we can claim that lot challenge. And then only one more reward left, which is, that looks like a happy potion. And then I guess these are next week's, which is technically this week's rewards. Talk to him about cooking. Build build a little bit of rapport. And then finally, ask the spirits about Ambrosia. Oh, hello, Labia. She gets a bit jealous when other women get any attention. She always has to just flash her flaps around whenever I have a sim talking to another one, you know. She's thinking about bed, you can see. In her little thought bubble, she was thinking about bedtime. God, she's such a slut. Anyway, anyway, communicating with the departed. Tell me about Ambrosia. How do I bring you back? Our phone started ringing and I thought maybe it was a sign, but it was just a fucking prankster of all times to be having me on. Hey. This sim, man, it's always the same sim as well. Get a life, get a what hobby, get some friends. Oh, a call away completed. With the Grimmer phone, you can summon me whenever you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting. Keep working on your cooking and gardening skills. We've unlocked another reward, which is a happy potion. Perfect, claim that. Well. That is, uh, that is the first week of the Grim Reaper challenge, or Reaper Rewards challenge, done. But we're going somewhere. I have no idea what I'm doing now. Are we going to make some friends? Where are we going? Oh, oh, I think I know what we're doing. So there was something about we need to plant an apple tree and a cherry tree. So I decided to go to Henford on Bagley to see if I could be cheeky and buy a cherry and an apple from the little, the grocery stand and the garden stand. Now this woman is just a waste of time because she doesn't have anything that I'm looking for. No apples, no cherries, just a time waster. Agnes, on the other hand, she delivers the goods. She's given me two apples. Well, I've paid for them. 
She didn't have any cherries though, so I might just have to keep checking this. Might have to come back here for the next video and see if I can find some cherries. Could be because they're out of season. But no, no luck with cherries today. And that was the first week of the Reaper, the Reaper's Rewards Challenge. I'm excited to play through the next week and see what happens. And hopefully next time, dipshit over here won't forget to press record on the mic. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.